To watch more of my in-depth videos, please subscribe. Here we are. I have got Mike Spike Edwards in front of me and I have got six secret tracks on the laptop. Three of them are UK tracks and three of them are European tracks. I'm going to ask Mike now to put his blindfold on. It's got nothing to do with Fifty Shades of Grey or... Oh and no that other camera is not running yet um no other sexual deviancy but um i'll just mike's got a dice so that he can pick at random which track it is going first so that looks like number six he's going to put his blindfold on and i'm going to turn the other camera on okay now get your blindfold on can you feel the dice we'll have to re-roll it for authenticity yeah go on gently don't chuck it on the floor See if you can guess it. I'll let you know when we come over the start and finish screen. Coming on the start and finish straight. The start line is now. A long straight. Wonder Kawasaki. Sounds like Magello. Yeah, it's Magello. Would you like to talk everybody through a lap if I start it again? Yeah, why not? Can you talk a, a lap of Magello? Right, thank you very much for that one. Let's have a look. Can what? you manage to roll the dice again? Dice. It's number three this time. Have a look and see what number three is. Are you listening? Have you got your ears on? I've got my ears on, yeah. Start and finish straight, start lying now. Sharpish corner. Very good, my dear. I'm really impressed. Would you like to uh, talk the viewers through a lap of hooray? If they're bored and want to listen, yeah. Okay then. That's very good. Do you want to try a third one? Mm, see if we can keep my roll going. Oh, number five. One, two, one, two, three, four. Five, we did five already for Magello. Okay. Five again. Oh, for God's sake. Not playing bloody Monopoly. Four. Done four? No, we haven't done Have four. Have you not done four? No, we did three. Okay. So here's number four. Eyes down looking. Coming on. No, let's have a look. Coming on to the start and finish straight now. Start line. Now, sounds like the Kawasaki. That's very good. I was so impressed. Anyway, would you like to? Uh, Talk the viewers through a lap of Donington. Why not? So that leaves. Oh, we've still got uh, three more tracks to do. Let's see if you can get roll a one, a three, or a six. Oh, a six. Okay. See if you can get this one. Are you listening? I'm listening. Start and finish, start line. Give 
that one again. It's quite a fast start, isn't it? So it starts right on as you approach the start line, so you're halfway down. Quite tight, whatever it is. I'll let you know because it's a longer lap. There's more than one lap on the video when you're approaching the start and finish straight because the video started quite near the end. So. Right, this is the last corner. As you, run, as you run down to the start and finish straight. Casual. Would you like to, uh, if I take it back to Barn, do you want to speak? Yeah, give them a run round, yeah. Alright, so this is... Uh, it's tricky that because of the, where it started. It started very late, yes, right. So you're just coming up to and out of Barn. Fabulous. Now let's have a look. We've got tracks one and two left. Do you think you could throw a one? Five, six, four, <laughs> six, four. Right, we'll play one. One, okay. to start and finish straight, start line. Brands. How did you know it was Brands? In the bottom of paddock, the bike often, you get a lot of what I call yaw, where the bike kind of is really struggling up for grip and the engine tends to get a bit of wheel spin to go wow 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 you tend to hear the bike so it's an often giveaway in that respect have you got time to uh, talk us through a lap of brand's gp uh, is it a gp yeah okay oh should i have told you that <laughs> i don't know when you got to 30s <laughs> Very good. Well, the last track then in Jenny's Pop Pickers. Are you ready for it? Okay. I hope you'll enjoy it and see if you can spot it. Let's see what we've got coming up now in the Lucky Dip. Onto the start and finish straight, crossing the start line. Now. Oh no, now. Hockenheim. Okay, so how did you know it was Hockenheim? Um, listening to the the bike revving on the on the faster section, it just uh, you ha you, the last gear you really hang on to, and it's, it really yells its head off. It's 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 really quick. I think the bike there was uh, at almost maximum revs in top, so it's on standard gear, and you're bloody motivated. Right. Um, 
can you manage to finish off this lovely video session with uh, talking the viewers round a lap of Hockenheim, yep. please? Okay, so can you take your mask off and uh, the light. tell us what um, what was difficult? Um, starting point. If, if you've got a starting point in your mind, you then can work out um, how long the bike you're hanging onto the gears for. And like at Brands, for instance, yeah, in the bottom of the dip there, paddock, you get that. So wow, wow, wow. So they're like reference points and highlights in in your mind. And uh, there's just indicators like that when you change gear, do you short shift? What you're short shifting for? how hard you're on the throttle. You can tell if you're not hard on the throttle. Generally speaking, you're on a corner. Um, and with the blindfold on, do you actually run a picture I've of got the a, lap? I'm listening to the sound, first of all, so I can pick up reference points. And as soon as I've got them, I kind of drop them into a track which I'm trying to picture in my mind. But when I'm talking the lap, it's totally, I'm there, I'm looking for Marshall's post, posts. Uh, end the curbs. I'm, I'm, I'm living the lap, as it were. Do you think people will find it interesting? There will be certain people <laughs> who will find this interesting. It's just an interesting thing, full stop, in the sense that uh, how the mind works for me. I build up reference points, and it, very quickly I can get straight to that pace which I know I can run. How long did it take you to learn a new track? Um. If it's a session days where you've got like uh, normal sort of three twenty minute sessions in the morning, usually by lunchtime I'm pretty much on pace by that point. I do pick up tracks really quickly. I tend not to um, like to follow people, um, even in the very early days when I'm wobbling around. And as soon as I can, I start using maximum throttle and maximum brakes. Um, because if you bumble around too slowly on the lap, learning the lap, you're already programming yourself to drive at that pace, so then you've got to reprogram yourself, reprogram yourself. So I tend to sort of, as early as I can, start charging into corners. I'm going full gas to full brakes, and that creates a, a point that I can use. Okay, the points, reference points, are usually too early, say, but it's a braking point. Um, but I can then just qu quickly move in it. Me on Patreon, and then you can get to see all of my online content as soon as it's published, plus lots of other private content made exclusively for my patrons.